just finished making and cleaning some apple, celery, lemon, ginger, and beet juice. I added the beets last minute because I thought it was cute to have like a pink or red drink for Valentine's Day. So yeah, I have enough for... I feel like this is going to last me almost a whole week or at least like four or five days. So that's great. I got a very exciting delivery from Green Chef, which is the most sustainable meal kit. So this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Green Chef. So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and I'm so excited to talk more about them because most of you guys know that I've been vegan now for uh, a little over a year and I also started eating more gluten-free and especially with those meal restrictions or dietary restrictions it can be really hard finding a meal subscription service that works with you and that's where Green Chef comes into play because they're super accommodating of whatever dietary restrictions you have obviously for vegans and uh, gluten-free people like me but also keto plus paleo vegetarian fast and fit and the Mediterranean diet. And also, let's be real here, it's just so convenient and easy. It's so nice to just have a box delivered to your door with amazing food options for dinner. Use my code LILYLIKE60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. So let's unbox this because I'm really excited. So this right here is the most exciting part, all the recipes that they sent me. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to try this. All very different recipes. Maybe this pasta recipe is kind of similar to what I would normally eat, but I'm not mad at it. But these other two recipes are super unique, so I'm very excited. All the ingredients for every dinner come in its own labeled paper bag, which is super convenient in your fridge. So I'm now going to put it in there and then... Um, Let's let's make one of these. And I'm going for the kidney bean meatballs dish today because yeah, I'm very excited to try this and I think it looks really good. Everything already comes pre-measured and wrapped. These are all the ingredients. Now it's time to start cooking. I'm also gonna put on a little show. I think I'm gonna watch uh, you and just uh, make it super quick and simple for myself to make dinner. Example and my version. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but I think this looks amazing. Okay guys, honestly, I love this recipe and um, I ate already way too much and I'm not going to stop. So definitely check out Green Chef. I will have my discount code for you guys right here. All the information in the description box. I think it's a great way to inspire yourself to cook more at home, try new things, eat delicious when I was younger I saw my daddy cry and curse at the wind he broke his own heart and I watched as he tried to read I'm feeling very cozy because I just made myself a hot chocolate with oats milk and pumpkin seed milk it's really good and I thought that right now is the perfect time to have a little catch-up 
heart to heart with you because I feel like it's been a minute. Yeah, um, I can't believe I'm going to start this very cliche, but I can't believe that we are already in February. Like, what is going on with this month? What is going on with this year? 2023 is flying by. And I feel like I've just been playing catch up with my whole life. Um, I would love to know how you guys are feeling, how your start of the year has been. I have definitely set the framework of a lot of changes that I want to happen in 2023. Um, they're both on a personal level, um, they're on a career level, they're on a romantic level, because I feel like the point that I'm at in my life right now is not where I want to be. And I've had a hard time accepting that and dealing with that fact because I'm such a perfectionist. But on the other hand, I also realized that being in a space where you don't necessarily want to be, feeling like you are in this kind of floating space with not a lot of stability and security can seem very daunting. But on the other hand, two things. Let's get very philosophical about this. It also gives room to grow. It's because you're not really restricted by anything, because you feel kind of in this uncertain position, it is the right moment to ask yourself the questions. What do you want? What do you want to achieve? Where do you see yourself in this year going? What direction? And on the other hand, it's also a realization that even if we feel like we're in this most secure place, it's just a false sense of security. Because one thing about life, the only thing about life that is certain is that nothing is certain. One of my favorite Taoistic quotes, but it's so true. C certainty and stability is such a vague and non-existent term in reality because life can change like that and if we hold on to the sense of security and stability that we have we're gonna lose it at some point because nothing in life is forever so that's why i think focusing more on acceptance and growth and being okay with yourself in whatever phase of your life you are is the most powerful thing that we can do I've written down some goals that kind of scare me and I feel like I am not good enough for ding 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 imposter syndrome but writing it down really helped me to kind of acknowledge it and um, yeah I mean one of the goals that I wrote down was that I want to book a really big commercial for roller skating because I booked my first like it wasn't a super big commercial but it was still pretty big brands so I think it's a good start in December and um, I really enjoyed working on set and I really enjoyed being able to combine roller skating with like a more entertainment and commercial focused career. Something I never saw myself doing before and never even had like the courage to do. So I put that down as a goal which was a very big thing for me. Uh, another big goal that I have is passing my driver's license which for some of you guys seem very small but for me, it's a really, really big thing because I have have never driven. I've always been scared of driving. I also kind of didn't want to drive for environmentally purposes or envi environmental reasons. But at this point of my life, I really need a car. So, and one of the other goals I wrote down is I wanna I wanna find love. Um, I have been single for a while now and. Even though I am still a work in progress, I will always be a work in process. <laughs> progress, not process. I have a process, but I'm also a work in progress. I just, uh, I have a lot of love to give and I would love to be able to share my life with someone that, you know, inspires me, motivates me, teaches me new th things and that I can do the same too. And create a partnership. So even saying that out loud, um, yeah, it's a big deal for me, <laughs> even though it sounds kind of silly, I guess. But just realizing what I want and being vocal about this has given me a lot of strength and motivation. So that's just a little update. 
on where I'm at mentally and I would love to hear where you guys are at as well. For all of you guys that find Valentine's Day a little triggering, know that you're not alone. Um, it's obviously a very commercialized festivity holiday um, and I think the most important thing is that the day after Valentine's Day all the chocolate is half off so if you're spending it alone then just have an amazing self-care day take a bath eat some chocolate do your favorite activity have a Galentine's dinner which I'm actually going to have um, tomorrow I'm going to have a cute at-home Galentine's dinner with my friends can't wait to take you with me on that um, tomorrow um, and yeah maybe maybe you have a hot sexy date with your significant other and in that case really enjoy that as well but if not you are still very loved and valued and appreciated in, the, in this world by the people around you, by yourself and by me because I appreciate each and every one of you. So yeah, I, uh, I have no real plans for Valentine's Day and that's totally okay. Um, but yeah, I just quickly want to say that um, I feel like it's been so long since I've talked to you that I don't even really know where to start. I've also been kind of struggling with what kind of content I want to create because yeah, my social media, my life has changed a lot and I totally understand that some of you guys have been following me for specific like study and law school content. Um, maybe some of you are totally not into roller skating which has taken over my life a lot um, and yeah, you know, that's totally okay. We all change. Um, I feel like my life is just chapters of different focuses and interests which I'm totally fine with because I've always been a very multifaceted person and I've always found it hard to dedicate my life to one thing only. I really admire people that can but I've always just kind of felt like a Jane of all traits, if that makes sense. And my top is a really cute top that I just got from Revolve. It also comes with a matching skirt and I'm obsessed with it. Love it. So guys, I wanted to do a little unboxing of two packages that I received today. And first of all, can we take a moment for how cute this hair care package is? Tangle Teaser is such an iconic brand. I remember that as a teenager, I saved up like for a long time uh, to buy a Tangle Teaser because I heard that they were life-changing, everybody raved about them and funny fact, I still have that Tangle Teaser to this day. They have upgraded the design to um, brushes with a handle which is I guess nice too. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited that now I'm getting all this um, as a PR gift so thank you so much. I'm first unboxing the one that I'm most excited about, which is this mini one. How cute is this mini hairbrush? Oh my gosh, I love it because this is perfect to carry in my bag whenever I go skating. Then there's two that look kind of similar, but this is the Smooth and Shine hairbrush, all hair types, wigs and extensions, and this is the For Wet Hair Ultimate Detangler. And then lastly, I got this really cute satin eye mask and satin pillow uh, case. Love this so much. Such a nice little PR package. So thank you so much Tangle Teeth. The second unboxing that I'm so excited for is a new pair of roller skates from Impala. And these are not just your regular roller skates, they are a collaboration with the amazing Maraba. You're gonna scream. When I saw these, I was in shock. They're so amazing. Oh my God, are you guys seeing these? These are roller skate high heel boots inspired by Marawa. Um, also, the wheels are light up wheels and I love the orange color. It totally goes with my aesthetic. And I'm just completely and utterly obsessed. They have a zipper just like the regular boots, but then they have roller skates under them, so I can't wait to try these. These are so insanely cool. Oh my God, I love it. 
Can you guys guess what I'm making from the ingredients? Yeah? Because I'm going to be making some beautiful, lovely, yummy borscht with this cold water that's in LA. It's perfect. And if you guys want to see a whole recipe, you can find it on my blog. Um, I will link it in the description box down below. There's a printable included as well as a video explanation. So definitely check it out. But can't wait to have it all finished. <laughs> Valentine's dinner. I am celebrating Valentine's Day with my girlfriends, which I can highly recommend to any of you that are single on Valentine's Day and also kind of get in their feels <laughs> about it. Um, so my friend Mary organized a Valentine's Day dinner at her place. Um, it's going to be very cute because she already sent me pictures of all her flower arrangements that she made and it looked super beautiful and promising so I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, my best friend Ariana is also going to be there and the dress code is white, pink or red and as you can tell I went for really cute baby pink so i'll show you my outfit in a little bit it's also going to be potluck style so um i'm actually making a vegan pink beets and strawberry salad and i can't wait to share the recipe with you guys so right now i'm just going to finish getting ready i'm using this beautiful heart palette from lancome that i got a few years ago it's just so beautiful it has the most beautiful pink shades so i'm just going to have a very soft pink flush on my lids and you guys probably also notice that my hair is straight which i usually never do and it really gives me high school lilia vibes because when i was in high school i would literally wake up every morning at like something obnoxious like 5 30 a.m and straighten my whole <laughs> head of hair every morning because my hair is naturally wavy, it's like 2B hair, and it just doesn't stay straight. It holds curls and waves very well, but straight hair, especially with the humidity in the Netherlands, just uh, never went well. So I had to straighten it every morning and literally burned my hair. But um, yeah, my hair at the time was kind of the same length, so it literally looks the same. But I've actually recently discovered the GHD Glide, which is this hot brush. I think it was trending like a while ago and I tried one of them and I never liked it. So GHD gifted me this hairbrush when I went to one of their like holiday parties and I completely forgot about it. It comes in this beautiful box and I just had it next to my vanity and never looked at it, completely forgot. So this one random day, I decided that I didn't know what to do with my hair, went through my hair tools and found this, tried it and fell in love with it because it's incredibly easy to use. It works so well and um, it straightens my hair perfectly while still maintaining some of the volume, which I love. So yeah, I'm completely blown away with the GHD Glide. I've straightened my hair a few times already and yeah it just looks really good so if you guys like straightening your hair too and you have wavy hair just like me try this hot brush it's really really good but um yeah anyways let me finish with my makeup and we'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> Was ever worth 
on the most Valentine appropriate salad. Then I don't know what is. I'm so happy with the results and I will be honest with you, this was a little bit of a trial and error situation going on because I usually like to have made my recipes at least once or twice before I share them with you. But this time around, I just didn't have that much time and I wanted to be, you know, in time for Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So I just kind of went with the flow. I looked at a few different recipes I found online and kind of honestly ended up having completely done something different um, and made my own spin of those. So this is the most delicious vegan beet apple and strawberry salad with a mint tahini beet lemon and strawberry um, dressing that ended up being so yummy um, yeah, it's perfect for any type of summer salad, especially obviously also for Valentine's Day because it's quite pink, but um, yeah, I'm obsessed. The other ingredients that I used was vegan feta, arugula, almonds, quinoa, um, and yeah, that's about it. So such an amazing salad. I already taste tested it and it was really good. And I have a whole big bowl that I made for all my friends for Galentine's <laughs> dinner. But this one I just kind of made for myself to eat right now and also share with you guys so you can see how it looks all beautifully done. But yeah, I'm obsessed and I think this is such a unique recipe. All the beet and apple and strawberry salads that I've seen uh, online were mostly with a balsamic vinegar dressing or with like an apple cider vinegar dressing, which I'm not a big fan of. And this is much more creamy. Um, I really can't taste that it's vegan and I would 100% recommend it. So I arrived at Mary's place. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. Look at all the cute food and my salad. And then we have the hard cups over there. And then look at her beautiful place and say hi, guys. <laughs> but this table setting is to die for. No, the last content is Ritsu. Last content. Oh, why are you so cute? Can you be my Valentine, please? Oh, you like my sleeves. That's what you like. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, but you're so cute. I wouldn't even be mad about that. Yes, so cute. So cute. All right. Okay. You're like a human. Oh my God. So we have some lovely homemade food. We have a very nice pasta pomodoro for Mary and she made it vegan for me. Then some focaccia from Ariana and it's also vegan for me. <laughs> Thank you guys. And then my beet and strawberry salad. So good. And then some pink lemonade with La Croix. Love it. You are the only exception You are the only exception You are the only exception Hello guys, as you can see I am in my PJs and I'm pretty much ready to go to bed I had such a lovely Galentine's dinner with my friends Definitely felt all the love <laughs> that I needed um, and yeah with that being said I'm going to end this video and I really hope you enjoyed it um, again I really miss talking to you guys and I want to become a little bit more consistent on YouTube again but I need your help let me know what kind of videos you would like me to do if you enjoy these vlogs um, also leave the word let's say um, blue because this is kind of blue <laughs> Uh, in the comments if you watched until this point because I would love to see if you watched the whole video um, yeah uh, you can follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok which is 
My Instagram is lilycom and my TikTok is Lilia Kazakova and I'm very active over there. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye guys!